Hey guys, welcome, welcome. My name is Diego Rodriguez. If we haven't met before, or if you're not part of our, one of our amazing Facebook groups, guys, if this is your first time, I just want to say, you know, welcome to our BCB workshop of amazing entrepreneurs like yourself. BCB, by the way, stands for Build Credit for Your Business. I know it's kind of long-winded, so I try to, uh, you know, tighten it up a little bit, BCB workshop. And today, what I want to do, if you take a look below, it's just I'm running through the steps of the first phase of our BCB workshop phases, right? Our BCB workshop comprises of three phases. The first phase is the establishing phase. Second phase, the application phase. And the third phase is the building phase where I take you over $100,000 in business credit. And I know I'm not the only one teaching this stuff out there, but what I believe sets us apart from everybody else, guys, is that I don't just teach you how to get business credit cards. I actually teach you how to get an actual business line of credit, right? And get you over $100,000 because we don't stop at $100,000. But, you know, it's a process, right? So, of course, the process begins with building. Like, I always like to use that little analogy, like the little snowball effect, right? You start in the beginning, building, building, building. And it's like you're flying under the radar. Before you know it, this thing takes off and these banks keep throwing money at you. But what I'm trying to get at here, guys, the reason I'm starting with this step first, especially if this is your first time coming across our amazing BCB workshop, right, is the establishing phase. And it may sound simple enough, but you would not believe how many of you end up trying to jump the gun, like, right, go from straight. Everybody, of course, always wants to jump to the application phase, but you end up shooting yourselves in the foot because... You're not laying down the groundwork for these, you know, credit card credit card companies and banks to take your business seriously, right? So that's why I put this little page together for you. That way you can kind of like check off and verify that you have all these items in place, right? And not only do you have them in place, but you've been able to verify them. You know, meaning like if I was to go to Google right now and type up your business name, is all your all your business information showing up? And not only is it showing up, is it like accurate, right? So you would be surprised, guys, how many people always want to jump the gun and go straight into the application phase and they'll wonder why in the world they're not getting approved, right? So end of the day, regardless if you're applying for business credit without a personal guarantee or with a personal guarantee, right, to get access to the best business credit accounts out there, meaning like the ones that are offering you 0% interest anywhere from like, Nine to 14 months of 0% interest, guys. Can you imagine what you can accomplish at 0% interest for over a year of free business credit, guys? So I teach you how to do all that. But the reason I set this up right now for you is because this is the most crucial step. And you'd be amazed at how many of you always trying to jump the gun, right? So if you guys can like, you know, follow all these steps, of course, you know, this is just kind of like the skeleton, like the skeleton of your business profile and the establishing phase, which is our first phase, right? So I just kind of wanted you to get like an overview of all the things you need to have in place. So go to every step, like step one, of course, you got to make sure you have a business entity, right? Step two, you got to get the EIN for your business, right? Step three is your business address, right? So I would advise, make sure your business address, like, I understand, you know, especially during these times, and of course, the reason why it is because we need access to more money for your business, right? So I know there's a lot of cutbacks and we're trying to work with a budget, especially as a startup, right? So I kind of understand if you're forced to kind of like, you know, use your home as a business address, but I kind of like, you know, I prefer you don't because you're going to be severely limiting on how much you can get in the long run, right? So don't get me wrong. You can still get business credit even if you use your home address, right? As your business address. But I tend to steer my students away from that because you, you're going to be putting all this work and time and effort. And then you're going to end up, you know, kind of limiting yourself in the, in the long run. Okay. So, but again, you know, keep it moving. Then the next step, you know, of course, is having, you know, your business uh, email and then your business phone number. And that's another thing, guys, another crucial step that you'd be surprised at how many of you are actually trying to use your personal cell phones and then have the nerve to say you're running a legitimate business, guys? Come on, common sense, right? And then, of course, uh, you know, get your business phone number. And then after you get all that stuff, you chunk it all together. And then you go to the local directories, right? To make sure your business profile is set up online, right? Because at the end of the day, once you start applying, guys, these banks and these credit card companies, they don't have really, like, the time to, to kind of have, like, a... a 
uh, how can I say, like, like actual uh, human, you know, customer rep going through all these millions of applications. No, they use like the little algorithms or whatever you want to call it to kind of do the process of screening applications right online automatically, right? So if you guys can like kind of understand this, like I always use the analogy, like imagine like you're a little mouse in the maze, right? So let's say the maze is the internet, right? And the mouse is like kind of like the, the bank's little algorithm trying to verify all your bank, all your business information online, right? So if you have all your business information online and it's accurate and everything's matching up on your applications, guys, that's it. You're halfway home, right? So, so step six is very crucial. So make sure you don't skip that step, right? It's like, you know, going like Google, what's one of the main places we go, right? When we want to research anything, right? It's Google, right? So not only do we use it, but these banks and these financial institutions use the same databases, right? So step six, and then the next step, if you can verify all that stuff is done, guys, then I welcome you to follow your education with us as I walk you live in my live webinar training where I tell you exactly how to apply for business credit and take you over $100,000 in less than 30 days. Even if you have a brand new business, I don't care what type of, I don't care if you're selling like rubber chickens out of your grandmother's garage, guys, I teach you how this works for your business as well. Regardless if you're a brand new business, regardless if your business is not making any money yet, even I teach you even how to get started, even if you have bad personal credit, guys, that way there's no excuse, all right? So if you can verify all the steps below, then keep scrolling down. Right, and then the next step, right? I put next step is for you guys to continue education. So just click on it, and then it's gonna take you to our live webinar. So you can sign up for the webinar, and then you decide if you want to watch it right away or if you want to set it up for tomorrow. You know, I know we got you know lives to live and responsibilities to take care of, right? So it's a pretty long webinar because I go into deep, deep, deep detail, right? So make sure you have your pen, your popcorn, and you have like your little cozy corner where no distractions, all right? So guys. That being said, welcome, 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 and I look so forward to being part of your journey, to getting access to this money and bringing your awesome business idea to life, to run and grow and reach success, whatever that may mean for you and your family. And like I always tell my students at the end of the day, trust your gut, follow your heart, better yourself and double down. This is Diego Rodriguez signing out. Peace, and I'll see you inside, guys.